will introduce you to the Grandmaster 200 radar. So Grandmaster 200 is a radar, is the medium range radar of the Grandmaster family. So this family of radar operates with, a, has a, um, a, I would say, a common architecture, that means common building block. These are two, all of them are S-band radar. So S-band uh, is excellent for low level detection, low altitude detection. So this is the choice of NATO in terms of surveillance radar. For helicopters? For, for any type of targets, so UAVs, helicopters, hoovering helicopters or pop-up helicopters. So the Grandmaster 200 is a multi-mission radar. It performs air surveillance, surface surveillance, detection of rocket artillery and mortar, and weapon coordination. It can be used either as a gap filler in order to perform air surveillance. In this case, it is integrated in a global air surveillance system, or it can be uh, associated with a weapon system. And in this case, it is used as weapon coordination. In order to do that, it has two modes of operation, two simple modes. So one surveillance mode that is instrumented up to 250 kilometers with 70 degrees of elevation and a rotation rate of three seconds. So it means that at all, uh, each uh, antenna rotation, all of the targets are updated. And it has a second mode, which we call the engagement mode, which is instrumented up to uh, 100 kilometers, 70 degrees, 1.5 seconds. These two modes can be changed by the operator when needed and without interrupting the service of the radar. Do you have also a command and control point? Uh, the radar can be uh, associated with any type of command control. When it is you doing air surveillance, it can be linked with a remote command control for air surveillance. When it is uh, performing, uh, I would say, weapon coordination, then in any case it can be linked to an outside command and control system. But this radar also has two work posts that can uh, host uh, command and control. It is a full um, autonomous system in the sense that it has a power generation that allows powering of the radar for 24 hours without refueling. And it also has the capability to integrate two work posts, so two operators for control of the radar. Uh, one thing that I wanted to say is that the GM uh, radars, they perform their search, their full digital radar. So from the antenna, the signal is full digital. And at the level of the antenna, we have a reception tile that will perform what we call digital beamforming. It means that the reception is made through uh, the calculation of uh, 15 beams in elevation that cover the complete domain. And, and doing doing that, uh, that, that is what uh, gives the radar the capability to update every target at every scan. And what does it mean? It means that we have a long time on target, and this is something that is really necessary for difficult targets in a highly cluttered environment or low-level flying targets such as slow UAVs.